Hey oh, this is Anthium. Welcome to Two Tales. Today's a abnormal video, as in this was a gift I got about a month ago around my birthday. It was an old bagged up Atari system in my mother-in-law's attic. Um, with me is my co-host and helper for the video. Calicorn. Calicorn, that's right, the cool Alicorn herself. Say hi. Hi. That's right. She helped display everything. Um, so we're going to move through this video. We recorded it and we dubbed, uh, the, we dubbed the words after the fact. Um, a shout out to the Atari creep who told me not to leave people hanging and get this video up as soon as possible. This one's for you, guy. Uh, but here we go. It turns out, um, I hadn't looked in the bag until we started unloading it, which is why commentary is second. But, um, we're going to go ahead and get into this. If you hear any extra noise, we're sorry. <laughs> That's right. We got stuff going on here at home. But uh, without further ado, let's get to talking about what's going on in the video here. This title okay. is like right. 15 seconds long. Right, <laughs> I'll adjust the time later. So the first thing that we actually got is this weird thing that actually says it's from like the model aeronautics something or other. I don't think that goes with the Atari. I'm willing to stand and be corrected because I legitimately don't know what I'm doing. That's the control stick that you're seeing right now. It's got a full auto switch in the back. I like the suction cups. You like those better than the PlayStation controllers, I believe you said. It's the Xbox yeah. controllers. You like them better than the Xbox controllers. Yeah. I okay. Think, well, games back then when my dad was a child, they're they were really simple. Right. They're not like skiing. Games, like they're they're not complicated. And that's gonna come right on now. the Amico, the skiing, yes. Right? Yeah. And then there's brain games. I have no idea what's I on brain, brain games. I love brain games. <laughs> you do like puzzle games and thinking games. We'll have to figure that one out. All right. And, of course, it's international soccer. I've never um, played that one. There was a little glitch between there. And what I like is the fact that the game cartridges come differently. So there's there's the Atari unit. And that's, that's Calicorn showing us how to load it. You like doing that? Yeah. Yeah? You like loading it? <laughs> It's actually a really simple system. You've got yeah. these knobs. You just put the games in like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, and of course, this is just a TV adapter. Um, what I thought was interesting was that there's a modular unit attached to it that's actually from Sega, some type of uh, power converter. I've not seen that before, so I thought that was kind of neat. Um, okay. there, yeah. there might be some error, errors in the video, so... That's why we're doing commentary after the fact. So, yeah, keyboard con uh, controllers. I've never seen those. <laughs> they actually slide together and interlock. They slide apart. Did you notice that? It's a little glitchy there and laggy. What do you think about the controllers? I, I like the keyboard controllers. They're different, right? Yeah. You also got the paddle ones. Yeah, those will be coming we'll... up later. Yeah, we'll get to next. Right, so... That one is, uh, what is, I missed that game. What was that game? <laughs> um, the red one? Yeah, the red one. Do you remember what that one was? Um, the red one? Pause if you like. Um, there might be some background music and things that oh. we don't actually Don't play. worry about that. That is, uh, Space War. I've never played that one either. <laughs> There's, All the games of, on these uh, on the Atari, I've never played either. Yeah. Well, I've actually played some Atari games. Um, that's Berserk. I've played that one. Um, Berserk. Berserk is challenging. It's Berserk? ridiculously so. Berserk is in Doom. Berserk. Not not Berserk as in the ability. That's the name <laughs> of the game this time. I know. I've played skiing. I'm horrible at the skiing game. Um, I can't recall ever completing a single course as a kid. <laughs> the Berserk is like this top-down uh, game where you roam around and there's robots trying to shoot you and you got to blow up all the robots. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's that one. <laughs> okay, Armor Ambush. Not played that one. I but, don't know can, any of the games on the Atari. Right. But it's it's that weird T-shape like the like the the other one there, the International Soccer. Those are the same shape. These are all different. So uh, I'm They're, surprised. They come that, in different shapes, so you're going to see that is, different uh, shapes. Sword <laughs> Quest. Not says played that one. <laughs> says Atari on the top. 2600. I'm presuming this is the Atari 2600 because, well, um, the cartridges say, well, some of them do. Some of them say Atari 2600. I'm really not sure. Um, um, the Nintendo was the first system my family owned. The Nintendo and the Commodore 64. So, um, 
the Atari came out before my dad was born. That's like, right. That, it was like, what? Me. That's right. Something's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Mima's older than you. <laughs> Don't tell that to Mima. That's some old school Pac-Man right there. I've never seen that cover art before. I was pretty excited to find that one. I also like how it tells you right there. It says the joy it needs a joystick controller. It needs this. It needs that. It tells you on the cartridge what it needs to run it. Yeah, that's cool. Warlords. See that paddle oh. controllers on that one. Oh. I've never played that one, but that one needs the paddle controllers. Riddle of the Sphinx. I like the name. I have no idea what that game is. Me neither. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Hush. <laughs> no. There we go. A video pinball. That's self-explanatory. Everyone knows what pinball is. Yeah. You like pinball? Yeah. Right. You. You used to have that little Mario pinball one. I don't recall that. <laughs> Missile Command. We've seen the new version of that for the Amico. Yeah, it's on the Amigo. It's coming out on the Amigo, and it's simpler. Simpler? Simpler. I don't know. I wouldn't simpler. call it that. Simpler. S don't know Sequest. I'm not sure about that one. You're in the sea. And that one is Defender. I don't bloop, think. Bloop, I might have played bloop, Defender bloop, as a kid. Bloop, 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 bloop. Are you making old school sound effects? <laughs> I don't know if they're old school sound effects. <laughs> and there's the paddles right there. I don't remember them having a button on the side, though. Paddle, 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 waddle, I was actually waddle, surprised. Paddle. The, the controllers are actually some of the best shape. And, of course, classic asteroids. It's a little spaceship, and all these asteroids are coming at you, and you got to shoot them and blow them up. Sort of like Astro Smash. Yeah, I guess so. another missile command. we got a couple of doubles in this one, but since it's a, it's a gift, and I'm, I'm tickled to actually have them, I think it, that's great. That's golf. I'm horrible at golf games. I've never played that one. You got some basketball coming up. Get some basketball. Adventures of Tron. No, I thought that was really cool. I love some Tron games. What was it? Atlantis? Atlantis is popular. It, I've never played that one. It's jumping a little bit. Yeah. So. Space Invaders. Do you know what that one is? With the aliens coming down like this right here and you're shooting up at them. It's sort, sort of... of like Astro Smash. <laughs> Reactor. I don't know about that one. So Astro Smash has inspired a lot of games, you think, then? <laughs> you think? You can talk. Frogger. Little Frogger jumping across rivers and roads trying to avoid getting eaten and run over. <laughs> Did you just rib it? <laughs> Combat. I believe the name is self-explanatory. <laughs> We got other videos. Right, that is Demons to Diamonds. I've not heard of that one either. We've got other videos online in YouTube. And <laughs> I Save that for the end, sweetie. No. Dolphin? Well, people are here to see this, not hear about the other things the channel's doing. So let's let's focus on this. This is this is the uh... <laughs> right, uh, of course there's a second copy of Defender. Just in case one copy gets missing, you can use the other copy. <laughs> <laughs> Home run. That's a baseball oh, game. I know no. what that is. <laughs> okay. Night Driver. I've not heard of that. I thought Night Rider when I first saw the case, but no, that's the Night Driver. Basketball. There you go. Uh, maybe boing, night. Maybe boing, Night Driver boing. is a nighttime boing. golf game. What do you think? Maybe. No, you think it's <laughs> you think it's driving a car. Code Breaker. I'm not sure if beep, that's boop, a, boop, 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 a strategy beep, game boop, or. Boop, 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 boop. I break the code. <laughs> you broke the code. <laughs> you think that's like that safe cracker game we saw? Yeah. You think so? Super Breakout. Now, the cover baffles me because that's an astronaut on the cover, and I never really got the vibe of space when it came to Breakout. I'm breaking out next month. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not actually breaking out. No, you're not. What are you? Stop it. Hunt and score. No. I'm not sure what that one is. It sounds like a duck hunt kind of thing. <laughs> and there's frogs and flies. That's new to me too. Frogs and flies. And then there's I believe that's Vanguard. 
Go on. Because I'm trying to go to the fucking lab. Adventure, not familiar with those two. <gasps> Adventure! <laughs> Adventure! And then, of course, E.T. That's right, we got two copies of E.T. Now, uh... um, from here, we're going into some still frames. Um, again, this, this model aeronautics thing, it's some sort of, you know, obviously power switchboard thing. Whatever. I have no idea what it is, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't go with the Atari. Um, now, the Atari got me because there's not a way I can test this to see if it works right now. It's missing its power adapter. I didn't find that one in the bag. So yeah. I'll have to try eventually to do something about that. Adap but then uh, there's this cable here. This, this that's cable. Probably, that's probably the adapter. No, because this comes out from the inside of the machine. And it wouldn't make sense to take that cable and plug it into itself. It wouldn't Maybe work. Maybe it generates right? power by itself? That would be amazing technology, but I don't think that's what it is. Um, so I'm not sure what if, that cable does at um, all. I circles energy, you... I, I would wager that's probably the audio-visual out. That would be my guess. Because that's what it looks like to me. Now, of course, the cable itself has got a little little scrapes on some of the wires exposed so it's, it's something else for me to be concerned about um i the this is actually a very old old box adapter for it um it's actually an entirely metal box and TV. there's some rust along the side yeah you, yeah you'd, you'd switch it between the tv and games that sort of thing wait the um, game system has a tv uh, no on? what it is is back in the day if you wanted to play it, it had to be a separate channel and you would have to flip a switch on that separate box to change the setting. Kind of like you change a channel over here. Of course, that's that's a close-up of the Sega power adapter unit um, or whatever conversion it's actually doing. I thought that was neat that that was actually a Sega thing attached to it. Daddy, can I do some of the commentary too? You are doing the commentary, sweetie. Oh. That's what you've been doing this entire time. Uh. Right? Of course, you've been making sound effects instead, but that's okay. The, the truth of the matter is, is the, the games, um, as far as I can tell, the games. games seem to be in general shape, but they're just kind of really dirty. But this has been sitting in the dirty. sitting in, you know, my mother-in-law's attic for a very long time. Um, but uh, a lot of games came with it. Uh, the controllers were probably in the best shape, I think. So which yeah. do you like better? Do you like the keyboard controller? The paddles... Or, like, the jet fighter controllers. I like those. You like the jet fighter controllers? All right. That's that. Thanks for stopping by. Um, Calicorn, you have anything to say before we get going? Um, the Atari is a really old system, and we don't know if this might work. So, we're probably, we're hoping that we, it does yeah, I hope so, but I would have to find a power adapter first. Thanks for coming by. Keep your eyes open for some additional videos from the channel. You know, feel free to like and subscribe uh, if you were entertained with this. Um, I am working hard on an animation video. It's being very precise with it. It's a, It should be pretty cool. It's Pro Amico, if that's uh, something you are into. Um, otherwise... Stay foxy, people. <laughs> Stay foxy.